Hi guys, I am going to do a tutorial today on contouring. So, first of all, you will need um, either, and you can get like a domed brush, like a large version of one of these, or you can get an, arm, like, uh, an angled brush, like this, whichever you feel more comfortable with, whichever one you've already got, whatever. Preferably nothing too huge like this. This is kind of too big. This is more for buffing it out afterwards. If you want something slightly smaller, it's like more precise. This is great for if you're going to um, contour kind of down the nose or in the eyebrow or even like in the crease. Um, but this is more for the cheek area or for like the head. And we'll get to it. Um, I'm going to be using this contour palette which I bought from eBay. It's like a throw line or frow line, whatever you want to say. It's kind of like a coastal, coastal sense rip off if you will mega mega cheap from ebay people have asked me where to get them from and if you just search for contour palette you'll find tons and tons i know someone had had a trouble someone had had a problem hmm. um i'm <laughs> just looking at my camera but yeah you should be able to find them i'm going to use these two colors a mixture of these two the darkest one probably most of all, but I generally will use the lightest one and then fill in a little bit with the darkest one. So, you want to find the hollow of your cheek. Now, I'm going to show you how to do it, but this is a complete rip-off of Pixie Boo because this is how they showed you how to do it. Um, to actually find your hollow of your cheek, which is to lay a brush or a pencil or something underneath your cheekbone there, and you'll find the line that you should be going with if you can't find your cheekbone. Have you got this? You should be able to find it. Just that. So I'm going to kind of mix the brown brown colour and the dark beige colour together. First of all. And just basically find the hollow. What I'm going to do is actually I'm going to turn this light off because I think maybe you don't get. Hmm. I'm going to try and angle you a little bit better so you get a little bit more natural light because I don't think that you're really getting. A ton of light from that. Let's try again. Now it's getting cold and wintry. It's not so great this this room for lighting. Oh. Anyway, as we were. So you're kind of following that line there, and then you want to be shading underneath, not on top, because that's your highlight line. Like you you want to actually highlight the bone. Your cheek well. But don't go too crazy if it's daytime. I wouldn't contour too much if it was daytime. So that's just kind of like a natural contour. If you compare it to the other side, it gives me more of a cheekbone. You can see the shadow more. I'll do it again on the other side. For daytime, I would more blend these two colours together. For nighttime, I'd probably use the dark one for something a little bit more dramatic. try and make them even on both sides and I think they are okay now I'm going to get into the contouring of the nose the eyebrows etc etc um, for which I would use the big blending brush which is here tapered blending brush and I'm going to use the lighter color first of all and I'm going to put it just either side of my nose And right at the end of my nose. 
to shorten it. Okay, now I'm going to use a little bit of the darker colour on top. You know, you don't want to go too Halloween-y with this look. You can just kind of alter your image a little bit with shading. If you want to see it a little bit more dramatic, you can watch my Lady Gaga Alejandro video makeup, because that was really dramatic. Then I'm going to use it just to kind of like go down from my eyebrow to my eye to make that a little bit more dramatic that arch and I'm going to use just the darkest one for that now if you haven't got a contour palette you can use a bronzer it's just bronzers tend to be a little bit orangey for this but again at night time it doesn't matter quite so much okay so I was just kind of like contouring the hollow there and then I'm going to, I'm going to outline the crease of the eye. The socket. It's quite a subtle colour that I'm using, but it does, it does work. Right, so we've done the socket, the inner corner of the eye to the eyebrow, either sides of the nose and the hollows of the cheeks. You can also go as far as to put it here. Depends on your forehead, this can kind of, if you've got a really, really wide forehead, this can make your forehead seem narrower because you're basically shrinking it. The same effect as wearing panels on a dress, it's like you're drawing the attention to the middle of your forehead and making the sides of your forehead go into shade. Then I would blend that up from from your forehead to underneath your cheekbone to then your jawline which creates a three. So that's quite an easy way to remember how to contour the face. So like a three down the side of your face. And it all blends it in together and it just gives you a little bit of depth. And I'm using this brush just because I don't really want to be too harsh. I just want to kind of blend it in together. So you can make this really, really, really dramatic if you want to. I don't because it's daytime. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I hope um, it helped at least some people if you've got any questions please let me know and um you can expect more videos like this today bye